been a lawyer for 30 years. What, what's, what, okay. Can you tell us what's unclear about it? You're a private I, lawyer I, and I'm acting in government. I'm a private lawyer who represents the city. Great. The city is evaluating it, and I can't tell you anything more than They're that. evaluating a judge's order? Yeah, what the order means, and when they're ready to talk to you about it, they will. But I can assure you that they're not violating it under any... The order is currently in effect. Michelle. You guys had eight attorneys. I think it was eight attorneys entering your appearance on this. I don't understand why eight attorneys need to evaluate this order. I did it all by myself. Okay. It says we that no are... later than 1030 today, you're to follow the election code and we, my people, my clients, representatives, are to be within six feet of the process. We have read the order. We are complying with the order, and we will discuss it with you in, in a bit. Yeah. Okay. The compliance is six feet. Compliance. I mean, the order is pretty clear. I've been a lawyer for 30 years. What, what's, what, can you tell us what's unclear about it? You're a private I'm, lawyer and I'm acting in the government capacity. I'm a lawyer who the city. Great. The city is evaluating it, and I can't tell you anything more than They're that. evaluating a judge's order? Yeah. Question. What's the answer? One poll watcher, a man called Brian McCafferty, explained that election officials just weren't allowing him to watch what they were doing. Okay, my name's Brian McCafferty. I was inside the Philip Convention Center today, kept observing people counting votes. I got thrown out because I took video of corrupt people trying to undermine the President of the United States. And this gentleman right here, he threw me out. He told me I'm not allowed back in. And the reason is because I took video of people trying to undermine and have a coup against the President of the United States. Brian McCaffrey joins us now. Stephen, thanks so much for coming on. So tell us tell us what you believe you saw in there. All right, Tucker, can you hear me? Uh, I can hear perfectly, thanks. Okay, great. So yesterday I was uh, I was asked to be a uh, a watcher. It's called a canvas a pre canvas slash canvas watcher. And yeah. uh, I walked into the convention center yesterday at 8 a.m. not knowing wh what I would expect. And there was really no direction. And it was complete chaos. And it was at that point that I had the opportunity to talk to one of the Trump attorneys. And I said, listen, we have a 50,000 square foot uh, facility here. And we have steel barriers being set up. Let's say uh, for optical purposes, one, one eighth of the place is free for uh, the people that are supposed to supervise to watch the uh, people that are counting votes, which right. was a complete farce, okay? You can't make this up. You can see from the videos that I've sent to Fox News. And uh, nobody gave any direction. There were eight-hour shifts, and you can do whatever you want. And I started watching, and I, I said, wait a second, you can't see anything. The, the, the closest desk, okay, let's put things in perspective. The closest, the closest desk was 30 feet. The farthest desk was probably 150 feet. And you knew this was orchestrated. Everybody had yellow jackets, okay, that's how they orchestrated it. However, nobody knew where these people went. And I started looking to the right hand corner and at that point yesterday, I started taking videos. I said, what are those black trash bags in the right-hand corner to fill up the convention center? And there was, there, there was no communication. And when people asked questions, they were really, uh, you know, they, they, they wouldn't answer them. And at that point, you know, you said... I just want to document. Uh, how much? Wait, but how come they already called the state? Because these are uh, mail-in ballots. Yeah. Are there a ton in there? Yeah. All right. Are you collecting from a lot of places? Yeah. All right. I'll just I'll just document. Thank you, guys. Are you guys official election guys? All right, and let me just ask you one thing. Where do you guys take them? Is that in the government building? 
in this country to have illegal votes counted and that is what's happening in the state of Nevada. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics.